If you're looking for superb ride quality and handling, as well as a more aggressive performance stance for your stock Focus ST, lowering your chassis could be your best bet. H&R offers a lineup of lowering springs that feature far superior control and quality than that of stock, adding a stylish custom look while retaining comfort. Depending on your driving style, this set of H&R lowering springs are an excellent option. Once installed, you'll experience better handling as you speed through those sharp turns without experiencing body roll in the corners and an excessive nose dive during hard braking will be greatly minimized. Before starting on the front suspension, begin by removing the upper cowling in the engine bay. We removed the one bolt on each side, then pulled the weather strip. Remaining are a few push clips, then lift the top panel up and remove another pair of bolts under the panel. Pull the lower panel out and remove the sound symposer tube if you like. Otherwise you could just move the panel aside to reach the strut bolts. Now we can tackle the front suspension after removing the wheels. Loosen the strut bolts, but leave them finger tight for now. Then move underneath the wheel well and unbolt the brake line bracket from the strut body, then the sway bar end link. Unbolting the tie rod comes next and it can be pulled from the front hub. You may need to break it loose with a hammer. We mark the strut and spindle with a pen to make sure reassembly goes together smoothly. Then unbolted the spindle strut clamp. You will need to wedge a pick into the strut housing to pry it apart just slightly for removal of the strut. Now the axle can be unbolted if you want a bit of extra room followed by the sway bar end link and ABS sensor unplugged. With that, you can push down on the spindle assembly to remove the strut from the spindle. This might take some time and force, but stick with it. Then remove the top strut bolts and pull the strut from the car. We again marked the strut at the cap, noting which side is the front for future reference. Now grab your spring compressor and compress the factory spring to take the load off the cap. Once you unbolt the cap, you can remove it with the bump stop. Then pull off the spring. Transfer the spring compressor to the H&R spring and set it on the strut. Once it is compressed, you can add the cap assembly back to the strut, tightening the upper nut and removing the spring compressor. Be sure the spring is seated properly in the lower mount and the cap. We then replace the dust cover onto the upper mount. Placing the strut assembly back into the car is just a tad tricky. Place it into the upper mount, then pry it into the spindle. At this point, you can bolt the strut back to the upper mount. If you remove the axle nut, it can be replaced at this time. Reattach the sway bar end link, ABS sensor, and brake line bracket. The spindle bolt is next to be tightened down. Then you can insert the tie rod back into the spindle. Back up at the top of the engine, our plastic trim can be replaced. Reinsert the sound symposer tube, but be careful if you pull the hook not to tear it.
Bolt the trim pieces back down, insert the push pins, and attach the weather strip to complete the front installation. The rear is much less involved than the front. After removing the wheels, unbolt the sway bar end link and move the sway bar up and out of the way. Unbolt the lower mount on the rear shock, followed by the control arm bolt that attaches to the spindle. Pry down on the control arm to free the rear spring. Substitute the H&R spring and be sure the upper and lower isolators make their way to the new spring. Jack up the control arm to the spindle and thread the bolt back in. Then the sway bar can be reattached. And yes, we upgraded the sway bar at this time as well, but your install won't be changed by that. Lastly, you can jack up on the control arm to raise the rear end enough to bolt in the rear shock, finishing the installation. Not only do these springs from H&R give our Focus ST an amazing stance, but the handling upgrade was a nice bump in performance as well. Click the link at the end of the video to pick up a set of these springs yourself.